certainly had our uh, story with Detroit. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We talked about the Lions more than any humans talked about the Lions, strictly because Evan Fox is yeah. on the microphone. Mm -hmm. So we had to talk about the Lions because every week it was like, hey, Detroit's not playing too bad. And then <laughs> Detroit would lose in yeah. an epic fashion. Detroit would have the lead in the fourth quarter. Then they would lose somehow. Then that would happen again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and then we learned that that's how it's been for like 40 years. Like that is literally what Detroit Lions football is. Every game you think you're going to win, you're in the game, and then heartbreak city at the very end. Almost, you know, representative of what ended up happening with the city of Detroit. Ooh, right. And then now, with Dan Campbell coming in there, rebuilding the culture, and the city is blossoming and building again, and they're starting to take it all over, it feels like Jared Goff had to experience the same exact thing. He was down at the very bottom when he got kicked out boom of the los angeles rams organization by mcveigh who was in a hot tub mm -hmm. in cabo yeah. with matthew stafford that's how that deal gets done so he gets sent up to detroit everybody's mocking him la to detroit he had a golf course that was actually on hard knocks in his backyard now he's moving to detroit michigan which i don't know if anybody's saying you know what get me to detroit yeah even though Detroit's coming back. Yeah, know, good city now. From what I've been told, it's coming all the way back. It's right. beautiful and everything like that. So then what did Goff do? Just put his blinders on. Just put his blinders on. Went to work. Trusted that Dan Campbell and the boys were going to get the right pieces. And now he's one of the most successful. He's top five quarterback in the NFL. Top six quarterback in the NFL. And he has the poise. 3-3 game right there against an Atlanta Falcons defense that is very tough. Oh, yeah. Going to be a tough game for the Lions. He's got his hands behind his back. He's like, hey. Don't know if you guys want to know, but this is the one. <laughs> yep. He knows he's taking that free shot. He's rolling left. Everything's going to the right. He knows there's somebody going to be in his face. Does not care. He's the perfect quarterback for the situation going on up there. Dan Campbell is the perfect head coach for them. And it feels like it's really all starting to come together.